Welcome back to Tech Coach Corner. I'm your host, Tiara Lustig, and today we have a great conversation with Evan Robb about the rate of change in education versus the rate of change in business. We talked to Evan about this on the Tackling Tech podcast, and he has a really interesting take on how quickly businesses change and uh, the business space changes versus how slowly the education space changes. So it's a really interesting conversation, and I look forward to sharing it with you all. Before we jump in, I just want to remind everyone to follow us on all of our social channels and don't forget to subscribe to Dino on YouTube so that you never miss an episode. We are revamping our Dino Digest series and we will have our next episode of that series out on Monday. So keep an eye out for that and we'll also have some new exciting content coming out soon as well. We also just launched our Device Impact Measurement Summit which will be happening on Friday, April 9th. So I encourage all of you to go register for that. It's a free event with Monica Burns where we'll be talking about the importance of measuring the impact of devices in the classroom. And we'll be launching our new Dino product offering, Device Impact Measurement. So go check it out, register. You won't want to miss it. There's going to be some great content and great offers there. I think that's all I have to plug today. So let's get into our conversation with Evan. Welcome back to Tech Coach Corner, everyone. I'm Tiara Lustig, your host, and today I'm joined by Evan Robb. Evan, would you mind giving a brief introduction to yourself before we get started? Yeah, I'm really excited to be here um, to discuss some topics with you today. My name is Evan Robb. I'm a middle school principal in Northern Virginia. I've also uh, been fortunate to be able to write a few books along the way and have some opportunities to speak also about education, leadership, and literacy. Excited to be here today. Wonderful. We're excited to have you. And one of the things that you talked about um, a lot in your work and also talked about on the Tackling Tech podcast with Brett was the rate of change in business versus the rate of change in education um, and maybe the need in education for uh, change and how educators can do that. Would you mind talking a little bit about that um, difference between the two and kind of what you've noticed with that? Yeah, you know, I've noticed that really over about the past 20 years, the rate of change in education has been a little bit quicker, but I have noticed that it simply hasn't kept pace with business. And, uh, you know, the example that I could share with you today is uh, you think about what a business looked like 100 years ago. And so if you do a Google search and look up a factory from 100 years ago, and uh, of course the image is in black and white, but you look at that image and look at what a factory looks like today, you know, you'll see that they are startlingly different way that they look. But if you look at a classroom from 100 years ago, it doesn't necessarily look that much different. Um, you often have kids sitting in rows, you have a teacher in front of the room. Of course, you want to have technology in the classroom, but not that much different. So it really gets you thinking, like, why is that? Like, why, why does business change so much quicker? And I think part of the reason is, is bottom line. Business is driven by um, profit, being able to be innovative, and being able to keep ahead of the market and education doesn't necessarily have those drivers. But what I would ask anyone to think about is how could education benefit by adopting some of the thinking that guides business, you know, a desire to be um, innovative quickly, a desire to change, a desire to meet the needs of your customers, because without meeting the needs of customers, businesses don't work either. And so I think it's just kind of compelling things to think about. And again, I'm hopeful that change is happening a little a little bit quicker in, in education, but I do see it as an area that, that absolutely needs to improve. You know, I think another thing that we talk about in education a lot is, you know, education should be like business. You know, education would be better if it was like business. And I don't want to be counter to what I just said a few moments ago, but, but most people know that most businesses aren't successful. So I think we have to be careful with making a general statement like education should be like business. What I would say is that education could certainly learn from some of the best businesses and incorporate some of the characteristics that that are embedded either in the operations of regular of, of some of the best businesses or the culture and climate of those companies uh, and how staff are um, empowered and um, and how their focus is on the customer. Yeah, I think that's a great observation. Would you want to talk a little bit about how um, technology might be something that provokes that change in education um, since the stakes are higher with, you know, the the chance of failure and not being able to model after most businesses? Yeah, I think I think the technology in general, I think we're still struggling as educators to figure out um, how it best fits into education. I think one of the things that educators educators have learned during the pandemic is that technology will will not take the place of a classroom and of a teacher. You 
know, lots of schools are successfully doing virtual education now, but I would guess if we polled most parents, they would say, no, that's not going to take the place of my child going to school and actually having a teacher. So I think that I think that what's coming out of this in education is more thinking and understanding about how technology can partner with education to enhance uh, what happens within the classrooms. You know, and I would say that as we move into the future, that the best teachers will be teachers who have a good understanding of technology and a mindset that allows them to experiment, learn, and grow um, along with the changes in technology to enhance learning for kids in their classrooms. That is what we've heard across the board with technology, that teachers who succeed are going to fit it into their classroom and not necessarily try every single tool out there um, and make it work for them. So I think that's a great observation with business and education, working in business and education. Um, myself, it's interesting to see the differences, but also the similarities and where they kind of um, share a lot of things. So appreciate you sharing that with us, Evan. Um, can you tell everyone where they can find you and what you might be working on if they want to engage with you further and learn from you? further? Sure. Um, if someone is interested in Twitter, I am at ERob Principal and try to keep fairly active on Twitter. Um, you can look me up on Facebook. I have a professional Facebook page and on LinkedIn. And if you like to read blogs, I have a blog called the Rob Review Blog. Not very creative with the title, but that's um, that's where you can find it. Um, I'd also recommend that people check out my book, my most recent book with Corwin called The 10 Minute Principle, uh, which is a book focused on leadership and bringing intentionality into, into your leadership. Wonderful. We will link all of that below so that everyone can find those resources and engage with you. Thank you so much, Evan, for being with us today. Hey, thank you so much for having me.